All right, it's been a while. We are back. We are back making quinoa sushi again. Has been a while. We have moved into mostly a raw vegan diet. But Every once in a while, as a treat, I'll splurge and I'll start cooking it up. Look at that, how that comes out of there. These freaking, you know, part of was learning how to eat better was learning. Learning about some vegetables I didn't even know about. And um, that's a cool thing. That is a very cool thing. Because it's like uh, all of these different, all these different vegetables. Actually, the, um, the avocado is actually a berry. And the, um, the pit is actually a seed. So, a little bit different than your average, uh, you know, fruit. So what do we got going on here? Let's, uh, let's take you around the, uh, spin you around here, sorry. We have, uh, whoa. Some steamed tofu, julienne leeks, pearl onions, garlic. And um, the stems off of my shiitakes. And of course, we, uh, we made some uh, jawari soba here, which is 100% buckwheat noodle. We got that there. And that's going to go with the steamed stuff. That's going to be like my lunch with a little leftover. And then, uh, here's what we did here. We chopped the cap. We sliced the cap of the shiitakes for salad because these are soft. You can eat these, but the stems are kind of hard. So the stems I put in here to go with my buckwheat pasta. See, so you can split. You can actually have one ingredient. When you're cooking all these things at once, you can split them up between different things. So here's the millet in the back came to a boil so we're going to take that off the heat right now for a little bit and let this burn it that's the thing about the electric is that it stays hot the flame you turn it down it's down immediately you have to kind of work with this like if i put this right back on you see it's what you want it to stop boiling right then and there you turn off the flame or you just turn it down it would turn it down it's boiling too so we'll knock that off and sit. whoa that steam is hot Let's get that off the heat and this off the heat for now. See, so then right away that boiling will stop. Whoa. This is tough. It's tough to see what's going on with all the steam. See how everything stopped boiling here. And that's what we need. I really need a cover for that guy. I'm going to switch this over here. Good enough. And this is about, uh, this is just about done. I like these um, pearl onions soft. This looks like it's done, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to turn off the heat. I'm just going to leave that boiling. See those Julianne leaks in there? Oh, I tell you that that's good. You better believe me, because uh, it's good. Uh, what else do we need? We need to go into the stash. Here's the stash. Some of you guys might need to do this if you're moving into the uh, health thing. You might not have everybody coming along with you. Uh, which is the problem is that if, if you start filling up all these cabinets, you know, you gonna you might have like roommates, wives, girlfriends, uh, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, whatever. They're going to be like, yo, dude, you can't just fill up the cabinets with all of your crap. So that's the way they're going to look at it. You know what I mean? And I guess you would look at it, too, if everybody was a vegetarian and somebody started moving all your shit to put yuhus and and Swedish fish here, you know, you would uh, you'd be pretty annoyed. Um, so as it is, we got to kind of run 
We got to run like a little uh, behind the, what's the word, under the wire. We have to go a little incognito. And um, so all of these kind of cabinets that are, you know, basically filled with the stuff that we would never touch, um, we have to bail on that. And then what I found is that here's our refrigerator and um, my wife, she can't make it all the way up here. To this this one's a pain in the ass for her. Nothing would ever be in here. Like, there's just like pan, pots and pans for storage. So I got rid of that and I turned this into my, uh, my, my place up here. So, you know, I just, I did a lot of transitioning. I transitioned from the salted macadamia nuts to the unsalted macadamia nuts. This is just in a uh, quinoa container. I had these in my bags. So, uh, this was $8 worth, and it, this probably would have been full. I've eaten that. So, $8 for a thing this big, like a couple of unsalted. That's pretty good. And that, I got that at the Maharaja Market. Boom! And this I like the best. Uh, now those late night cravings that used to be for like chicken McNuggets can be for anything. And uh, like you see, I have cookware, uh, different sauces, honeys, olive oils, my sugars, different types of seeds, everything. It's just all packed in here. It's everything. This is my health cabinet. And uh, you know, the waters I put up here, I'm making quinoa or whatever. I, I use the spring waters for certain things, but when I really, if I'm putting it in my food, or if I just really want a big huge drink of water, I grab the distilled. Um, as per Brian Clement, who recommends go distilled. So, I'm not even really up to the, uh, let's see again, now we'll see, can we kick this one to the burner? Let's see if we can kick this back. It shouldn't really boil. Right, you don't really want to open this too much now, you just want to kind of let it... So it's not boiling on here anymore, so both of these will put to like a simmer. Like that. Simmer. I'll just leave them like that for a while. All this water will be absorbed. So... But uh, up to that point, like when the water starts to get absorbed, you don't want to open it anymore. You just want to kind of want that steaming action to uh, take over. Now here... What do we got going here? Let's get this, uh, let's get you up on here. Let's see, does that work? That'll work. Just like that. Where did these pieces come from? Hmm. Pieces of something up there. I wonder where that originated from. There's a rodent! No, I don't know. If I didn't know any better, I would have thought there was something chewing on that. Alright, so... What do we do now? Show you what we do. Boom. Boom. And we are getting a little bit Julian leak out of there. Way right down there, you I see you trying to hide in there. You, you remember that guy, I forgot his name, Justin. Justin something. Get it out there, you. I'm the Cajun chip and I say I go. No pieces that are going to hide from me. Justin Wilson? Was that his name? And there we go. Nice and simple, right? There's nothing crazy going on here. And this is totally dry. All the water uh, dripped from that. Just let it sit and drip for a good 20 minutes. But again, Things are way too hard to find to really waste any of it. Boom. Alrighty. Now, here's what's cool about this. That this is what I started messing with. I got to be getting these really cool olive oils at Whole Foods. That uh, they make these small batches of some of these. This one was all covered in foil to uh, to protect like the, the olive oil inside, you know. Like you could tell it was a good brand. They go through those measures. And it had a whole thing on it about what family it came from, where this, they were, that, whatever. Basically, this one is a, I think it's Spanish. Let me see. This one might actually be, this is an Italian one. How do you like that? This one is from Italy. And uh, 
I've been getting into these uh, specialty oils. And this is definitely the way to do the specialty oils. After cooking, you're wasting the specialty oils if you put them on and then just blast them with heat or whatever you're, you're, you're messing with. And then wait. I have them. And the creme de la creme, flower of the ocean. I hope this isn't upside down for you guys. Flower of the ocean, you know what this is? This is when they make the Celtic salt. There's a phenomenon. 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 That's all we need. Boom. Where in the morning, when they come down to where the salt water, the sea water is partitioned off into these squares where it's melted by the sun and all of that. I think this all goes on in France, the Celtic salt. And then what they do is, what they notice is that in the morning there's this weird salt that accumulates on the top when the water is very still at night and without a breeze it doesn't even happen every night it can only happen when it's a very calm night or something I don't know do some research you tell me you put you leave me in the comments where this shit comes from I don't know I just read a little bit about it and it was fascinating I gotta delve back into that actually tonight I'm gonna look it up tonight and uh, it's very a very small amount of that gets uh, captured and um, they sell it. It's called Flower of the Ocean, and there it is. It is now inside my food. And it's supposed to be like the uh, most delicate tasting, delicious salt with incredible minerals that are hard to find in any other way in there. So this, I'm not even going to bother plating. I'm just going to dump this in a bowl because um, I know I'm not going to eat all of it so then this way I can saran wrap it or something or transfer it to my storage things I bought a bunch of these storage things these guys non-BPA Rubbermaid these are they're good there's some like this size, and there's smaller ones, there's bigger ones, tiny ones. I mix, I got a, I got a couple of packages of them. And they go, whoops, they come with all these, um, these nice lids that, I'm juggling here, sorry. The lids kind of like attached to them, so like you can make a base out of it like that to eat. You know, and and you don't lose you you don't lose the lid if you keep it in a cabinet like that. The lid stays attached. So uh, you know whatever that was kind of like an interesting little uh, bonus that, uh, that I don't store them with the lids attached. Nobody does. So who cares? Sorry. See, but even like these small ones, like these are nice. You know, but I got the mushrooms there. They seem to be like the perfect size and. Like what I like about them, they're burpable. You can go watch, you can go, and then close, and it see it stays sucked in. So you know that's that's all you really need. Look at that. Look at that. Oof. Let me show you what that means. It does mean one thing. Oh my God, and it's buried. The one thing it needs is buried. Hold organic. Hold organic sesame seeds. Yeah. Done. Consider that done. No soy sauce. Nothing. Maybe I can eat this way because I can eat this. I like this like this. That's how I eat this. We'll put that on the side. I'm going to bring you over here. What are we up to? Uh, we're coming up on 15 minutes. I don't want to go much longer than 15 minutes. But, uh, I'll show you what's going on over here. Come on back with me. See, when we're, uh, simmering. See what happens when we simmer? 
Now we're going to go down even lower to like one. And uh, we're going to give one quick stir. One quick stir. That's the last stir it's going to get. It's totally dry. Oops, sorry. I don't know what I was just showing you. I was just showing you what my crotch looks like while I stir. Okay, that's it. This will be the, that'll be ready soon. You've seen this a million times. See, we come over here to the our storage cabinet somewhere in here. There will be more of these. Oh, oh. Ah. So I used to buy these by like the ten. And then that got annoying. So now this is the brand I use. Tokyo Sushinori. 50 in here. See, so I just bought two. Now I know I, I need to get another one when I go. This one will be dead. And I'll move into this one. And I'll use a couple of these. And then I know next time I go, I gotta get another one. So with 50, how are you gonna run out? Come on. Just always have a spare one of those on hand. You're gonna have a total sushi party. A pate. Sushi pate. So, yeah. yep, this is all ready to go. This is ready to, uh, ready to wait, actually. Ready to wait. What's that really the cover for? I need another pot to use for that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make the sushi and I'm gonna make myself a salad. I'm gonna make myself a salad by breaking open this other avocado and uh, mixing that with my sprouts. This is all my Sunday preparation to have to go into the week. So, uh, you see I have, look, I even buy the cat something for you now. Even my cat food is refrigerated with healthier food. There, back there, you can see my tub of spinach that's waiting. And then, uh, and again in the refrigerator, my wife doesn't like to bend down, she has a bad lower back, so I go low in the refrigerator. See, up here, this is her stuff. Although, see, then I'll buy stuff and I'll leave it up here so she eats it. Like organic cherry tomatoes and stuff like that. I leave up there. And then if there's something that's, like, negotiable for both of us to eat, like the blueberries, she leaves it down here. So, you see, that works out. That works out. And then, uh, and by the way, this is from DJ. She's the most awesome asparagus. It's always good. I notice they get sweeter if I let them sit for a day or two. So that I'm going to make Tuesday. Uh, but you see my uh, drawers here. Here's an ore game, kids ore game for the kid that I hide in here. Here's some uh, daikon radish sprouts. Those things are kick ass. Here's a whole radish salad. I mean a uh, sprout salad. This thing is huge. Look at the sprout salad. Mega. Um, and down here, we got some more sprouts. We got sunflower sprouts. We got broccoli, clover over here. My onion sprouts are gone. These are freaking delicious, but they're gone. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I think, you know what, I'm going to make this coffee right now. This is my stumped in cold brew. And I'm going to bang that out. Because that's how I roll. So, I'm going to make a salad. Um, I'm probably going to make the salad late. So that I don't have any wilted crap in the morning. And that's it, people. Oh, nice hanging with you. I hope you hung in there for that, for that whole one. There's a lot. This people, I'm sick of this. What do you eat? Well, what do you eat? It's everywhere. It's all over the place. Everywhere I look, it's my awesome olive oils. I just bought that one. It's from Spain. I got uh, just bought this awesome olive oil. It's from Greece. This one. These are like specialty oils, and uh, I get them cheap. I get them cheap on sale at Whole Foods. It's not at Whole Foods, at uh, Fairway. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to dig into some of this right now. So I'm going to bid you farewell. Happy eating. And, um, talk to you soon.